I crossed over from land fitness to water fitness 20 years ago. I was a terrible aquatic fitness instructor my first couple years because I was on deck teaching my classes like a land instructor. The problem is my students were in the water. Water has its own unique properties and you won't be teaching a very effective class until you understand and utilize those properties. <laughs> Traveling exercises will be more intense in the water's viscosity than exercising in place. Reversing travel direction in the water will increase intensity as you encounter water in motion. So if you want to increase intensity in a water exercise class, don't stay in place. You want changes in body position. You want to be traveling. You want to go forward, back, lateral, diagonal, circular. So changing and combining moves more frequently is going to increase intensity. Pyramid instruction or repetition reduction is the best example of using limb inertia to increase intensity. Adding more force to your arm and leg movements against the water's resistance will increase the challenge. That means you have to push and pull harder against that thick, resisted water. That's the benefit of being in the water. You're in resistance doing these movements. We as instructors do have to give those motivational cues to get people to use that force against the water better. The second way we utilize the law of acceleration is force applied to the pool bottom. Or you can do a ski pushing, knees tucking forcefully up. You can see my feet coming off the floor. That's using the pool floor with the law of acceleration. Thank goodness for the Aquatic Exercise Association, AEA, and their certification. My instruction got so much better once I understood how to increase and decrease intensity using Newton's laws of motion, frontal resistance, levers, hand positions, and more. This educational video is designed to remind instructors to use the water to make the workout more challenging and effective. If the actions of the arms and legs are impeding each other, you're making that, you're actually increasing intensity and making that harder. If I want to increase intensity on that move, I have to flip flop the arms. I have to ski with my arms pushing forward into the resistance of the water. My goodness, that got way harder. If I want to impede that jab with travel, I would drive forward. I would drive forward, drive forward, drive forward. Presenting larger surface area in the limbs, hands, and line of travel will be much harder due to the water's viscosity. Look at how much surface area I'm presenting when I move to the side. Now look at how much surface area I displace when I move forward and back. So this cupped hand is the hardest hand position in lieu of a pair of webbed gloves. If you have big movements, the heart has to squeeze oxygenated blood out further to those extended limbs. That's the cardio response. That's what makes you work out. And you're getting the full resistance and the toning and the endurance against the resistance of the water. An optional online quiz approved for two AEA CECs along with an extended education handout is available with this video. Thanks for learning with Fit Motivation.